What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to downgrade a plugin version or install an outdated plugin version. Let me example let me show you some example and show with you some real case. Let's imagine that someday you are on your WordPress dashboard and on the plugin sections you are up up updating the plugins. And as soon as you update the, your WooCommerce plugin that power up the 5 billion of sites, you just got this error, a critical error on your website after upload, uploading the WooCommerce. This happens in the, WordPress, in the WordPress WooCommerce plugin that is most widely used on its version 4.4.0 and break a lot of sites and the developers need to take some days until they can fix it on the version 4.4.1 however if you are if you have updated it to version 4.4.0 your site is probably break down and before we can solve it and by installing an older plugin version and wait to the new and fixed plugin you need to go to your wordpress dashboard while you can go to your wordpress dashboard you need to log into your hosting account dashboard and on it I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for a guide for a guide where I do explain how to do that. But you're gonna delete the plugin from your host in the file manager. After that you go to the WordPress.org website and click on the plugin section. On it search for the plugin that has the problem. The problem can be a conflict, anything else that can probably break the plugin or stop its usage. There's a lot of updates that create situations like this, so you need to pay an extra attention. I'm using WooCommerce as an example because it's crystal clear and I can remember the amount of problems that this version just caused. But go to the plugin and look at the right sidebar, click on the advanced options and you scroll down. The very end option gonna be the version, the developer's version download. Here you can select any version of the plugin to download, even the older versions. For example, the problem was in the 4.4.0 and I'm gonna be downloading the 4.3.2. I, I will install this plugin in my WordPress like a new WordPress plugin because we just have deleted the WooCommerce plugin via FTP or via WordPress dashboard directly if you still can access your WordPress dashboard so we can install the error free version so go to our plugins, add new, upload plugin, select the file on your computer and upload it and we are good to go this issue as soon as the WordPress plugin developer fix the issue you can update the plugin without any problem and you can make your site risk-free from errors during some days. The same process can be used on Teams in the case that you want. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress Teams. And I'll see you later. All the best!